Okay, so uh, I think I said the last thing I said in the video was um, that I got the bearings and that I gotta put them in, or maybe I didn't say that. Anyway, it's reassembled. Um, the one with the small bearing at the front and the big one at the back. Um, <clears throat> exactly, let's just turn it on. Full power, of course. Um, there's quite a lot of airflow, and it runs very silently uh, if you just listen to the bearings. Like the wind noise is super loud, so I try to block the port so we can just hear the bearing noise, not at full speed, but at 10 volts. So. got it's hard covering it with one hand but yeah that's basically it you don't hear that much let's just put that here that is just well the noise from the bearings and whatever you hear from the bottom let's see if we block the input yeah that's with the input block too basically no noise. Let's put it on full power. It's not that bad. That's probably because it's like pulling a vacuum or something. As you see, this one works great. Uh, I wanted to look up how expensive this one would be new, but uh, I'm guessing around 200 to 300 bucks um, when you would buy this new. So the only thing I did was replace two bearings at the cost of, uh, let's say, two euros, <laughs> and that's it. And of course, a bit of labor, but. Um, I wonder what they're actually doing with these fans uh, after I mean they're getting recycled that's aluminum and you have the board and a bit of copper in the coil and the plastic here but why the fuck do you have to recycle them they're they would be perfectly serviceable if you just made the stupid uh, rotating thing replaceable so you could just take it off without having to melt it or pry it off like crazy then it would just be perfectly serviceable like the motor itself you can take that apart most of the time <clears throat> without any problems you can take the bearings out you can replace them the only thing stopping you from doing this is taking the stupid thing off because it's just pressed on there that's stupid and also of course they using smaller bearings i mean if you could replace them it wouldn't be such an issue you would just say hey this one's broken again let's replace it um but yeah apparently they rather have you throw away the whole appliance so you can buy a new brand new 300 euro version of this which is just just gonna fail again in five or ten years because they build it that way um so yeah it works and i just noticed a <laughs> very fun bug on my camera i'm recording this close to midnight i think at least yeah it's now two minutes past midnight and the video is four minutes long or this uh clip so it jumped from 29 to 30 and it did not delete uh, the numbers before it drew 30 on the canvas. So there's now 29 and then overlaid a 30. So apparently no one thought about <laughs> someone using this thing at midnight. Interesting. Anyway, 
that's it for this video we fixed this one um let's give you a small teaser for a project that might be relevant in many many months or years this uh, salad of cables is um, mostly uh, just well, ignore the cables just look at the pump in the back um, there's a front housing I just took that off to clean it because you see it has some uh, debris from just being dry with half full of water so I tried to scrub that off on the other part um, this is a 1.1 kilowatt pump um, out of a jacuzzi system of the company Hirsch um, I think you can actually see that on here yeah this is the, the panel thing um, I get this for the whole thing this is also part of it uh, this is the electronics box um, so this whole thing um, for 11 euros no shipping I had to pick it up but 11 euros for the whole thing so I mean the pump itself is worth it um, so yeah that's something I might use at some point I don't know if I will actually make a project video about it but I want to build my own jacuzzi so on eBay I saw someone giving away a jacuzzi system and I was like well why not um, the problem with this one is um, all the piping and the, the jets are missing so it's basically just a pump there's this thing too which is apparently the air valve motor actuator or something uh, but it's not connected to anything. There's just there was just a, a cut off piece of pipe on there, so <laughs> that's kind of useless. Um, so I think I'm just gonna ignore the electronics, just build my own for just the pump, um, so I can switch that on and off, or maybe even uh, have a variable frequency drive for differing um, speeds. I wonder though how that's gonna work with the run cap up there. I, I hope it doesn't break that. I'll have to do some research if that even works. Otherwise I'll just put a switch on there and yeah, then I have a pump. A, a rather powerful, way too powerful actually. <laughs> that's way too powerful for what I wanted to build, but eh, it's free. And maybe I can use it for something else if it's not for that. So yep. That's a teaser for some future project that I might never get to because I have no time. Yep, um, are there any other purchases going to show up? I think that's it actually. That, that was the most recent one and everything else has shown up. Oh, something I did before I forget. I got the, the thingies of these two DC motors. Um, because I was stupid, I uh put too much torque on them and just stripped the hex in hex thingy then i tried to cut a slit in it and do it with a screwdriver that just turned the metal clean off um they're all glued so after i fucked this one up i heated those with my little torchy thing d and heated them up and then i pried them off with a screwdriver and some pliers which worked rather well so those are reusable now this one eh, I don't know also according to the wiring this uh, has two coils just like the washing machine motor over here um, so maybe I can use a run cap I mean it says here 10 microfarads 200 volts AC uh, so I guess that's the run cap that's supposed to be connected between one of the two uh, on one of the coils I guess so <laughs> I don't know uh, I I don't know if I will ever j get around to this one <laughs> I'll just keep it for now uh, maybe I'll be able to use it because it has this nice fan on here so it blows the air forward over the motor that's quite useful <clears throat> maybe for something small like a, a small uh, I don't know how you call them these automatic hacksaws basically something like this or a mini belt sander <laughs> who knows um, 
yeah anyway so I got those off of the other ones and maybe I'll just cut that off maybe <laughs> if I really need to because I don't have any belts to drive so keeping it is kind of idiotic but I don't like wasting stuff yep <coughs> also if you're wondering about this one that's for uh, Halloween <laughs> I'm still not done with it okay but this is now it for the video thanks bye